guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you today we're gonna be doing 21 things I learned at 21 because when you are watching this I'm gonna be 21 years old I'm not right now but I'm filming this ahead of time and I've been doing this for this is year four so I'll link the other videos that I've done since 18 19 and 20 so, without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. I feel like this one's gonna be a lot weirder than the ones that I've done in the past, just because, I don't know, it's not like generic sayings that I've learned this year, it's more like concepts. So, I'll just jump into it. The first one being that peace only comes from your Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> so many times I feel like I can find peace and rest in watching TV, playing video games, uh, watching YouTube, hanging out with friends, just doing fun and mindless things. And I feel like that can be where peace is when true and everlasting peace is really just in the presence of Jesus. And that's something that I've learned in this past year, especially in the past couple months, because I've been very, very stressed with all that's going on. I say that every year, but I think this is the most stressed I've ever been. So anyways, the only way that I can get through it all is with peace that comes from Jesus' presence. Number two is I really only need a few great friends and a few for me is like eight to 10. And I know that sounds like a lot to some people, but if I just have a few friends in multiple states, it, I have friends in California still and friends here in Tennessee, friends that don't even live here because they go to school here, just friends from all over. And if I have like 8 to 10 really good friends, then that's all that I really need. I used to think I need like 20 or 30 friends, but that is definitely not the case. Number three, Jesus is the only one that fulfills. And a lot of these are going to be about my homie Jesus because he's the homie. But what I mean by that is I have felt like I have to be something for other people because that's what they need. When in reality, what they really need is Jesus. I can't fill that void in their life. So that's just a mindset thing. I don't have to be everything for everybody. Number four, you're not a victim of your circumstances. And this is really a lesson that I haven't learned for myself, but I've learned based off of my friends' lives and just watching other people. Because I know a lot of people that are not doing very well, they're suffering. They just think that they're stuck and that there's no way to fix what they're going through. When honestly, they don't have to be and they don't have to be a victim to what's going on around them. So that's kind of my little tidbit there. Number five, I crave stability and routine. <laughs> and I knew this about myself. If you know anything about my personality, I am very, very structured. I am not a flexible person. And I love to have a stable routine. And for me, this year was a little bit of a roller coaster because I was really happy at the beginning of the year when I got engaged and then Corona happened and I had to move back home and I was really, really sad and then I was really happy again because I got married and now I'm kind of just really, really stressed all the time. So it's just been like an up and down roller coaster and it's not been stable like what I truly crave. So that's something that I've been learning and life is never stable. So. I just have to live with that. Number six, waiting for marriage is so worth it. And I don't want to be gross or anything like that because that could be for a different video if you wanted me to talk about that. But me and Alec committed to waiting till marriage and I can honestly say that it was so worth it. And I know of a lot of other people that are doing the same thing. So I just want to encourage you because it's not an easy thing to do. But I just wanted to encourage you that 
once you get to the finish line it is worth it and it is so very special when you actually save yourself after you get married number seven self-awareness is so important and i know so many people that aren't self-aware and they don't realize anything about themselves and it's just not a good thing i think for me the best time that i'm self-aware and really deeply reflected yeah deeply reflecting <laughs> is when I'm in the presence of God and I'm just praying and thinking about my life overall. So that is something that I think anybody could actually learn from. Number eight, I love slow mornings. We talked about this in our last video. If you watched it with my Q&A with Alec and we talked about how I'm kind of a morning person and he's kind of a night person, I don't like waking up early, like I wake up at 7-ish, but I love having slow mornings and that's just when I feel the most at peace <laughs> is when I have at least two hours before I have to go anywhere to just get my coffee, breakfast, spend time with Jesus, get to watch a YouTube video or two not have to rush at all that's when i'm in my prime number nine i actually fear being viewed as lazy and this is kind of an interesting thing because i think it's just a part of the family that i grew up in but we are very hard workers and i have found in my now marriage that i fear when anyone thinks i'm slacking off when i'm lazy I just get really defensive. Number 10, understanding your family culture is so important to understand why you are the way that you are. And that kind of goes with what I was just talking about with being lazy. Everyone tells me that once you move out, you get to reflect back and see why you are the way that you are now that you're not living with your family and that is so true i have definitely been able to do that and i think that that is so important for young people once they move out to really take the time to reflect and understand their family culture because every family has a different culture 11 you don't have to apologize for everything and i think that I do this when I slack off on something and I definitely feel like I have to apologize whether I didn't go to class, whether didn't turn in an assignment, flaked with a friend, didn't do something at work that I'm supposed to do. Just any time that I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing and more, I feel the need to apologize and i don't have to do that all the time especially with the and more thing because that's my own personal expectations i feel like i haven't been apologizing and explaining why i don't come to class that much this semester because i feel like i shouldn't have to give an explanation because they don't know what's going on in my life so just not going to be there and if you can send me the homework that'd be great so that's kind of something i'm still learning that's kind of something i realized like in the past month number 12 communication brings relief and restoration and for me if you have listened to me in any of my videos i'm not a great communicator of my feelings because most of the time i don't even know what i'm feeling to tell you what they are so i have really been learning that a lot especially since being married and I find that every time I'm able to put into words how I'm feeling to Alec that's when I feel so relieved and he's able to be like hey it's really not that big of a deal and he's able to encourage me so I've had a lot of times where I've had to talk to Alec about something and he's made me feel so much better because I'm learning how to communicate. Number 13, perfect love casts out all fear. That's a Bible verse. <laughs> if you haven't been following me on Instagram, I've been talking a lot about fear and how I've dealt with a lot of fear, especially recently. 
and this kind of goes back to everything gets better when you're in Jesus' presence, but that's something that I've really been contemplating, thinking about. Number 13, I was created to worship, and this is not just for me, but we were all created to worship something, and we get to choose what that thing is, but for me personally, I was created to lead worship, to be a part of worship, and I think that's such an important reminder for me because I have not led worship once in the past year, as crazy as it sounds, because I'm going to school to be a worship leader, but it's mainly a fear thing that I haven't done it, and it's mainly just my own insecurities, but I'm going to do it soon because I know that this is something I was created for. Number 14, marriage is actually all that I dreamed it would be. And I know that it's only month three, so hold your comments. I know that I have so much to learn and I know that things will get rocky, but I am enjoying it so much in this first couple months. And it's just been so fun and we're just really silly people as Alec talked about in the last video. So we make jokes all the time, we have all these inside jokes and we're having a good time so far. But everyone tells me that doesn't last very long. So take this for what it's worth, but it is what I dreamed it would be. <laughs> Number 15, there are actually people out there that share my passions <laughs> because I feel like my passions are very unique and I don't have a lot of people in my life that really love worship and really love social media since I'm into social media as much as I do and it's kind of hard to find people to relate because they don't really understand. I have a lot of supportive friends and family but it's just different so something that I realized as I've been working at American Eagle and learning about other people and other stores is that there are other people out there that love the same things as I do and I just haven't met them yet. So it's a good reminder that I'm not alone. Number 16, <laughs> I am not in control and I think that we all learned about this when coronavirus happened. So do I need to even explain further? <laughs> we think that we're in control of our lives and I think I'm in control of my life because I'm such a routine oriented person but I think coronavirus taught all of us that we are not in control as much as we think we are. Number 17, I actually have to be social or in a social gathering at least once a week and this is because I'm like an extrovert introvert which is such a weird balance and I know other people like that, so if you're like that and you feel me, then this is for you. But I do love to have my slow mornings by myself, as I explained earlier. But I also need to have social interaction with friends that is all fun, not really for a specific purpose or to work or anything. And I have to have that once a week in order to function well. So that's just my own personal reflection. <laughs> I think I lost count because I am very, very off. So this is supposed to be number 19. I'll fix the numbers on the screen. Sorry that I said them wrong this entire time. But number 19, don't be ashamed of your likes and dislikes. And this kind of goes with the part about people sharing my passions. Because I don't know a lot of people that are into the same things as I am and that's something that Especially with people that don't know me well I kind of try to hide and I don't really want them to know it about me But that's not something I should be ashamed of and if it does come up in conversation I should be willing to talk about it. So anyways number 20 Time to unwind every day is so important and I really like this time that Alec and I have where every night when we eat dinner we just watch some new girl right now, that's our show, and it's just such an important time to just chill 
after being at work and school all day and I found that it's really been helpful for me in my mental health capacity is when I have time to unwind and just sit for a second, I feel great. And apparently, last one, <laughs> number 21, my to-do list should not be what I live for. And this is just a big one for me. I know that other people don't feel like this, but I literally wake up and think, what am I gonna first do? And it's because of my personality. My mom is a lot like that, so I got that from her. And that is not what I should be living for, waking up for, breathing for, but it should be Jesus always. So that's my own personal thing that I'm gonna be working on. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me, because I love to do those for you. And I will see you guys next Monday or next year when I do this for 22. <laughs> okay, bye guys.